Okay, another drive time video. Um, I'm skimming along the road now. Um, a bit strange to be talking about what I'm going to talk about, which is 12 volt and 24 volt air conditioners as outside of Zippel Group Celsius right now. Um, but, anyways, let's talk about it. Now, 12 and 24 volt air conditioners, you may go, what do you mean? They don't have them. They don't exist. They do. you got to look. And you don't go looking in your local run-of-the-mill automotive store, your electronic store. Um, you know, you're not going to see them there. Uh, where they are, they use them in the split the caps off semis, as we call them over here. You might call them tractor trucks. Um, we call them semis. Um, the truck at all it gets called the semi. Um, but basically, they have these little cabins on some, not all of them, some of them. Um, and basically, it's a little bed. You sleep in there overnight. Um, there's probably people watching who have slept in it. They may know where all this is headed. What it is, when you get these sleep caps, if you've got your wits about you, uh, or you know, the bloke who builds it or whatever uh, knows about it, you've got an option to have a 12 or 24 volt air conditioner. Now, many people may know about the uh, diesel heaters you can get uh, for them. Um, and there are also some diesel powered air conditioners that use a single cylinder diesel engine that runs a compressor uh, for the air conditioner. And uh, when it's not using, but when it's not turning over the compressor, it turns over an alternator and charges your battery up. Um, but we're not going to focus on those systems, we're just going to focus on the 12 and 24 volt systems. Now, there's two small brands here, as in they don't uh, manufacture large amounts, um, and they have ones ranging from 250 to 500 watts. Now these systems, when you see them, they look like a tiny, weeny, like only like a two foot wide split system, like you have for your house, uh, where you get your condenser or, or you know, your radiator and your fan box outside, and then you get pipes and that going up wall and then they go inside to the box inside. It looks like the box inside that you have in your house, just inside your sleeping cabin your truck. Um, and and basically um, these run off uh, either 12 or 24 volts, you've got to choose which one. I recommend 24 volts because you won't have any issues with current draw. Um, as many issues as you would with 12 volts. Uh, so, yeah, put any cables in anyway, but use 24 volts if that's an option. Um, and they're two small obscure brands. Now, there's another very well known brand whose fridges and freezers I don't trust. Um, like about one third of the fridge and freeze buyers. Uh, but they are a large company, well known around the world that does make these. And I'll show a video whereby I've got their catalogue up on my laptop screen and I'll scroll through. Um, and their Waco, which has since been bought out by Dometic, um, Dometic Waco Group, I think it's technically. Now. Um, but these ones are listed in the catalogue as Waco. And they're up to 850 watts or something around that, but they're pretty much the same system. Um, but they've got quite a few different models. And you've got to be aware that sometimes they give you 240 volt models of these things. The ones you see in trailer homes are usually 240 volt. Actually, they're almost exclusively 240 volt. Um, but, having said that, the truck ones are often 12 volt or 24 volt, 
Uh, they've got a hell of a draw, so you're going to need more than 11, five bucks worth of solar panels to run these sites. You're really going to need a, a decent amount of solar panels. Um, and you're also going to need um, somebody who, well, is a mobile refrigeration mechanic who can come out and, you know, hook it up and get it up for you. Uh, they'll probably need to do piping and all that with it. Um, but, you know, having said that, it's an actual relief condition now. Don't expect to be able to cool your whole house. You've got to be cool in one small room. That's the bad. These things are only made for a sleeping cap, which are like little lemon dog kennels. You know, they, they don't sort of cool a very big area. Um, but you've got to understand that one thing that's different with fridges and air conditioners is human bodies create heat. You've got to keep up with getting rid of your heat plus combating heat from outside. And as a result, uh, you, you know, they're going to have a lot more power than your, your little car fridge uh, because, you know, everybody's create heat. So you won't really be cooling a large area, and I highly recommend heavily insulating that room that you do use to cool it. But, you know, if you've got a baby, and it's thick and hot, and you know, you've got one of them, at least you'll keep the baby from getting, you know, too worried, dehydrated, whatever. I know that people live without air conditioning and had babies before, and, but this is one of the things if I ever have a kid that I'm going to be sort of worried about is, um, you know, keeping the kid cool enough in, in hot weather. Um, so yeah, that's an option. It's a very power draw heavy option. It is actually cheaper to get a high quality uh, generator, one that can handle high heat, um, which I frankly am having trouble finding one that really handles the heat like we get in here. We get 45 degrees Celsius here, don't worry. And I've come across some generators which are good brands. Um, one I was looking at the other. The cow, no, I guess I'm a car remember. That's how me, you'd only go to 40 and I thought, well, that's it, not buying that one. Uh, but you probably, it's, it's be better to buy an air conditioner, normal mains one outright, and get a generator. For your money, that's the best option. But for those of you who are planning some colossal solar system that'll just about, you know, power half a tan, you know what I'm saying, you're getting something that's kilowatts worth, you know, two, three kilowatts or bigger, uh, then your 12 or 24 volt air conditioning may be a very good idea. So I just sort of throw that one up because it's it's really, really not understood by the general populace, even, you know, a lot of people just absolutely do not know these things exist. And yet here they are, the medics whacking them out one after the other after the other, you know. Um, and initially I only thought there was these two minor brands in Australia and that was it. And then after a lot of banging around on the internet I found no, the medics got an entire catalogue with all these different ones. And yes, half the catalogue are mains powered, but the other half the catalogue are 12 or 24 volts. Um, so I thought uh, I better bring that up because I don't think it's very widely understood at all. Uh, so there you go, that's that. Uh